Hey guys, welcome to the video today. I ended up doing something today that I was definitely not planning on. Uh, went to turn the water on and the outside pipe there uh, that connects down into the sprinkler system uh, froze over the winter despite having it insulated and it was all busted up and uh, anyways needed to get it replaced. Um, and so I got all the parts from uh, Lowe's here and this part here, and this is what I'm going to show you in the video. Um, this part here is where a PVC elbow connects on to right here. And then this part here pushes into the copper pipe that comes out of the house. Um, and it's like a push on connector. It's got these like little, you know, little teeth in there or whatever you call those that connect onto the copper pipe. Um, and I couldn't quite figure how to get it off at the beginning. Um, and I did some, you know, quick research online and I found that there's a special tool and I was like, okay, I'll buy the special tool when I go to Lowe's. Uh, but they didn't have the tool in stock. Um, you know, it's going to take a week or so to get it. So I had to find a way to get this off. Um, and I was able to do it. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys. So let me get the camera set up on the tripod and I will show you how to do it. All right, guys, forgive the angle, but this is the best angle I could get. It's pretty tight back here. This is what I was dealing with while I was doing this. Um, you can see here the fitting doesn't just pull straight off. Um, it's locked on there. So there's a special tool that you push against the back of the fitting, and it presses the black plastic in and then frees the fitting from the pipe. Um, in this case, the tool wasn't available, and I needed to figure out how to get this off. So I'm going to use my crescent wrench here. It's adjustable. I'm just measuring it to the size of the pipe and then pushing it against the back of the fitting like so. And then you're just going to push the fitting straight off with the uh, wrench pushing in the plastic and pulling it off and being careful, uh, you know, not to hurt or damage the pipe in the process. And you can see in this case, I was able to get it free. Um, this is what it looks like here. And yeah, the what you need to do to get this off is just press that black plastic ring in um, and it will eventually free up. Um, so... Hopefully this helps somebody, um, you know, if you find yourself in the same position as me um, and the, the tool isn't available, this is another method on how to do it. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.